gonna wait. Don't mind me. Push it down. I'm not gonna skip every enemy, but I am gonna skip. Oh, this chest is something. I'm going for it. I went for it and I did that perfectly. I always mess up on that chest because sometimes I forget. Oh, it's our first. Oh, it's an elemental scepter. That's our first scepter to do a magic with. Oh, I forgot the enemy was here. You know what? That's fine. I haven't fought in a while. To my side, my noble I'm here, yard. Yo, I'm, I'm really happy to be playing this again. This game in Symphonia, I'm gonna have fun times. I said this on Twitter. I'm saying it again, though. These Twitch streams are gonna be very fun. I'm gonna have some fun times on Twitch. Playing Valkyrie Profile in Symphonia and kind of doing... I don't know if it's 100% to get the A ending. I don't know if that's considered 100%. Alright, good thing Freya killed that one. So now I can use Arngrim and Lenneth. Lenneth and Arngrim. I'm probably gonna call her Valkyrie because the game calls her Valkyrie a lot. I'll try to... I'll, I'll interchange them. We'll see what happens. There we go. You're done. But, um... I said this on Twitch, but, um, really fun times are going to be on Twitch. I'm really excited to be playing both of these games simultaneously. They are so different, which I like. I'm going to be exploring the dungeons, like, to my full content. Like, this game is quick. It's not that long of a game, but definitely Symphonia is going to take longer. Because Symphonia is, like, one of the longest kills of games. Probably only beaten by Abyss. Maybe. I think Abyss is maybe longer or about the same. But... Also, Vesperia. Vesperia is pretty long, too. Those three are the longest Tales of games. And Berseria is probably up there. But, um, Symphonia is one of the longest. Definitely Symphonia is going to take me longer. But this game is going to... It's not going to go quick. It'll probably take me a little... If I do everything, I do kind of know what I'm doing. So it won't take too long. You know what? That's fine. We're going to enjoy it. I'm, I'm playing it today, and I'm going to enjoy it a lot. I really am. This game is very, uh, this game is very important to me, and I love it. I love it a lot. If this game brought something very unique for the table with the premise, exploring the dungeons, this game was very good for its time. The time when it came out, at least. Oh, Fire Lance. I usually give that to, um, Jolanda. Jolanda is like one of the mages I use. Again, mages are the same. Mages based on your preference. I'm gonna be using Jolanda though for like the whole game as I always do. This is the Book of Spells. Book of Spells. Yes. It's a book written about research done on certain magic spells. You can learn new spells by reading this book. In this world there are many books to be found where ways of fighting and other things are described in addition to books about magic. From these writings, you can acquire knowledge on many matters that you could not have obtained otherwise from experience on the battlefront. Alright, so magic and skills are books. There are magic and skill books. This is how you learn, um, magic and skills. But we have a magic book, so we're gonna give that to... Jolanda's our only mage. Yeah, memorized Fire Lance. I never really understood what, like, Book of the Afterlife and Book of the Undead, all those do. I never really understood that. But, um, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> well, that, that thing backstabbed me. I was not paying attention. But, um, also, I might go for five hours today. Maybe not five hours. I'll go over four hours. I'll probably do, like, four hours and a half, four and a half hours. Maybe I'll go five hours. Because that intro was really long. And, um, you know, why not? I might do five hour streams just so I can get more videos out of my streams before I go on vacation and have my job get in the way. You know, we might do that just because. I might just, um, I might not always do five hour streams, but I might have at least one, a couple. I might do as try to do more five hour streams. I think tomorrow I'll definitely do like close to five hour stream for Symphonia. But, um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm probably going to get, like, m at least five hours of Symphonia tomorrow. Because I haven't played it since Tuesday. It's only been since Tuesday, but it feels like a really long time. I don't know why. It feels like a while since I played it. Plus, I love Symphonia. Did you 
So I would like, I would not mind playing an extra hour. When I say five hours, it might not be five hours. It might be like 40 minutes more than four hours, but that's fine because I can get two extra, at least one or two extra videos out of it. Might as well. We'll see what happens. I'm not promising, but today should be maybe a little more. May, even if it's only five hours and four hours and 20 minutes. That's still over four hours. It, today's stream is definitely going to be over four hours in some extent. Definitely going to be more than four hours. Like, not four hours on the dot. Should I wait for it? Or should I just, like... I'm actually... I'm honestly tempted to, um... Okay, it's here. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, you can't do ice crystals here? Oh, whoa. I, I jumped too early. That's okay. It doesn't damage me too much. Yeah, these puzzles, these dungeons are pretty big for what they are. And exploring them is pretty fun. To my side, my noble I'm Hmm. These beasts will be a good test. How do you not die from Freya, Arngrim, and Lenneth? I do not understand that. Oh, I should set Fire Lance to Jolanda. So I can just use Firestorm from the menu. Fire Lance only hits. Some magic is only going to hit one enemy on the from the menu. So, you know, get used to that. But, um... I should probably set Fire Lance to Jolanda. Just so she can use... She can use Firestorm from the menu. I'll just probably set Fire Lance for now. I always set Fire Lance, because I like um, the great magic that links with Fire Lance. Magic is really your own preference. There are stronger magic. I think Mystic Cross is easily the strongest spell. But um, honestly, whatever great magic you like. Also, I have to give her the Elemental Scepter. I think that's a great magic user. Let me explain this. So, it does have a 50% chance of breaking if you use great magic. Here's what I recommend. Do not you you can equip these. I equip them. Something new I do. I equip these. There's something called an Ether Scepter later, and there's one that never breaks. I think you get throughout the story. But um, I equip these to mages, and I never use great magic unless on a boss if I feel like I really need it, because then you'll break it for the enemies. I feel like for the enemies, I do not use it. You'll get more elemental scepters though, so when bosses come and you want to kind of show off a little, you can do that. That's a good plan. Let me do this. There's nothing here. I'm not gonna worry about fighting too much. Honestly, exploring the dungeons. <laughs> I, I skip enemies sometimes, not because I hate the battle system. I love the battle system. I don't hate it. I love battle system, the battle system in this game, but um Honestly, sometimes I just wanna keep exploring the dungeons. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I don't want to battle. I don't want to get interrupted from the dungeon exploration because it's so fun. This is the only game where I feel like that sometimes. I mean, there are games where I'm like, eh, I don't want to battle because I'm solving a puzzle. That's understandable. But, um, Tales of Destiny did not make that easy. Symphonia did because that doesn't have random encounters. Tales of Destiny, oh, that encounter rate is so high. But, um, sometimes exploring the dungeons is a lot... It's, it's not more fun, but it's just it can be just as fun as the gameplay. Especially now, because right now the gameplay is really slow. Like, right now the gameplay is like, meh, it's not bad. It's just a little slow. I like it a lot more when you get more skills, but that's only natural. Most games are like that, where it's like, gameplay is a lot more slow in the beginning. But this game, like, takes a while to get, like, interesting with the gameplay. So I will fight, but I'm gonna kind of not fight too much right now, especially. But you know. Also, as I said, levels really don't matter in this game. Also, I think the more you step on Step on the crystals, the likely they are the break. Oh, this is what I always have confusions with. I never know how to get this. 
some of these chests require a lot of strategies with the ice crystals. It's so much depth. Like this one, I do not know how to get. I mean, I do know how to get it. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually, but honestly, not as much as, uh, it is very hard to get. I think what you want to do is do- Oh, I was so close. I think I'm gonna set an ice crystal there, right? Oh, I will take a while getting some of these treasures. I'm not leaving until I figure it out. Kind of like with Symphonia. Because I've played these games before, which is why I'm very interested in getting the treasure- All the treasure chests. That's why this game is Symphonia. Like, I don't want you guys to think, like, every game I'm like that. Persona 5, I was like, okay, first time playing. I don't really expect to get everything, but in these games, I got all the will seeds in Persona 5, so I feel special about that. Got it. Oh, but it explodes. <laughs> I forgot about that. See how hard that, um, it's really hard to figure out how to get that chest if you really don't think. You gotta really use your brain for some. You gotta be at the very edge and jump. It's got, like, incredible timing. But with Persona 5... It was my first playthrough, so I didn't really care if I got everything, but this game in Symphonia, I've played these games before in the past many times. So, like, I expect to kind of want to get more, not 100% necessarily, but I expect to want to get more in these playthroughs just to kind of um, further my enjoyment of the game. Because if I did everything the exact same, rush through the story, that's not fun for me. Because, like, I do that all the time when I play through them. So I kind of like to have times where I, oh, I didn't jump right. But I kind of like to um, get everything because I should be able to get most, um, this one, how did I do it? How did I get up there? Also, what I hate is the explosion trap makes you leave and you have to come back. So you have to like do this twice, technically. Oh, so close. See how very specific it is? I know what I did wrong though. Oh, I cannot get that jump right. Did it. Treasure search. I'll take it. I think it's an accessory you can put on someone. Oh, that took a while. It took a good five to ten minutes. Oh, look how much Fire Lance does. That's incredible. Imagine a uh, firestorm on all the enemies. That probably would have been good. It's probably the elemental scepter, to be honest. But whatever it is, that was so much damage Jolanda did. Yeah. Guys, it's my intro theme. My YouTube intro theme. Fighting the shadowy gods. I love this music. I love this battle theme. This game is like one of my favorite soundtracks, I think. Persona 5 and Persona 4 are up there too now because they they both have phenomenal soundtracks. This game is up there. Best soundtrack. This game is like one of the best soundtracks. FF8 has a good soundtrack for its series. I would say it's up there probably. It's probably like my in my top 10. Not my top 5. This isn't my top 5 favorite soundtracks ever. Like of every single game. Definitely in that. Definitely in that strength. Definitely in my top 5 for that. Oh, if only we could use special attacks on other enemies after killing one. I wish that was an option. So they don't even die from Freya, Lenneth, and Arngrim attacking. Probably try out a Firestorm with Jolanda. See how that does. Okay, good damage. 400 is a lot. Firelands hits twice, so two 300 damages is 600. So Firelands does 600. Firestorm only hits once. That's still really nice. Yeah, I didn't expect any less.
Also, can't you slide in this game? Yeah, look. Yeah, see, you can slide. Freya didn't explain that, though. Which is a little odd. Because she explains everything else. I have to go up this way, I think. So treasure chest with traps. That's a very interesting mechanic. I love it. I love that. I love having like traps in the um in the uh dungeons. I was already here. I came from here. I just like to look around, make sure I'm not missing any important chests because chests are very important to get. You get very good rewards for the chest in this game. Also, there are going to be some enemies that the ice crystals don't work. We will get there. Oh, we're at the save point. I think we're at the end. Hence the boss. There is a boss in this. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Alright, so if I'm doing like a 5 hour stream, I'm not going to take a break until like 2 hours and 20 maybe. I'll take a break at 2 hours and 20 minutes maybe. If I'm doing like a 5, maybe 2 and a half hours. 2 hours and 20 minutes and then I'll do like 2 hours 30, 2 hours 40. I don't know. I don't know if I'm definitely doing five hours. I'll be close to five hours if I don't do five hours exactly. It'll be at least 14 videos, if not 15. We'll see. Bum, bum, bum. Here they come. Bum, 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 bum. How's this game do it? The soundtrack is so good. Why do you disturb me? It is my task to hunt those creatures who prey upon the living. Abomination, you have no place in this world. Hunt, you say. You amuse me. Very well then. Let's see if you have the strength to match your boastful words. Bum, 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 bum. I will not participate in the battle. Leneth, let me witness your power. Use this sword. It will allow you to do a triple combo attack. Yes! I get to show it off to my viewers. Writer Palish. Also, we get the full Nibelong Velesti. It's a lot longer than I did before because uh, with a three combo attack. Okay, these guard dragons. Dragon servants, they're the master of defense. We'll have to break through their guard with combination attacks. Okay, Lenith usually explains in the middle, in the beginning of a battle, what you're gonna need for certain enemies. It is very nice. She does say like, oh, we'll need to do this. They do give you tips to beat bosses, which is cool. Great new perfect guards by doing combination attacks, not guaranteed, so be careful not to waste too much energy. I know what we're doing- Oh, I can't use Jelanda's magic. Oh, easy guard break. Look at that. Oh, I fainted it too. Usually, not all the time, but usually when you break through a guard, you get a guard break. No, a faint. You When you break through a guard, you get a faint. Jelanda, let's see how much Firestorm does. Should have killed that drag. Oh, it did. Oh, be gone. Be gone. It's over. <laughs> Look at Leneth. Freya, Freya gave Leneth a really powerful sword, so this boss is not hard at all. Clearly, kind of a joke, honestly. Oh, let me show you the true Nibelong Velesti. I love Leneth's quotes. I love Lent saying, you shall be engraved upon your soul. It's like my favorite line. It's a very generic favorite line, but um, it's a really good one. I'm going to use Arngrims just for the sake of the overkill. I'm not going to use, um, I'm not going to be using, um, Jolanda's Great Magic because, um, it's kind of a waste, honestly, especially if he's dead. I only use Great Magic if it's, um, if they are not overkilled. I don't want to use great magic for an overkill. You guys will see great magic, I promise. Probably the next ball, probably one of the next ball fights. You will definitely, I will definitely show off great magic. I guarantee it. Easy. Yeah, that one's easy because Freya gives Lanth a really powerful sword. A sword is really strong.